so hello everyone in the evolving landscape of clinical trial ensuring patient safety and data integrity is of paramount risk based monitoring is revolutionizing how we oversee the clinical trial and today we will see what exactly is risk based monitoring we'll uncover the strategies that make risk based monitoring a game changer by reducing risk and enhancing efficiency so join us as we delve into the principles of risk based monitoring and how it's shaping the future of clinical research please stay tuned and subscribe to the channel as we navigate through the intricacies of the risk based monitoring right here on our channel without further ado let's start so what do we learn in this particular session so we will understand what exactly is risk based monitoring or rbm we will understand the rbm as as compared to the traditional monitoring as well as we will understand what is the fda guidance for rrbm okay so what does fda say about risk based monitoring and finally we will understand why risk based monitoring is so important that it takes care of patient safety and data integrity together so first let us understand what exactly is risk based monitoring so when it comes to clinical trial management we understand that it is a uh, definitely a complex endeavor and in this uh, particular trial management it requires very meticulous planning compliance with the regulation coordination between multiple stakeholders which involves sponsor investigator and the cro and risk based man uh, monitoring okay rbm so it is uh, one of the strategies of clinical trial that has emerged to be more targeted strategic approach that takes advantage of increased connectivity and advanced data analytics so as we move from a more technological based system so risk based monitoring is one of those system which will help us to have a targeted and strategic approach so that all the electronic data capture system and the monitoring system we can use it to ensure patient safety and data integrity and this particular risk based monitoring streamlines uh, streamlines and optimizes the error detection okay and it also facilitates the replacement of all on site monitoring so previously when it comes to on site monitoring there was a requirement of 100% sdv sdr as well as need for a person to go on the site but today if we see in the era of remote monitoring this risk based monitoring approach could be a game changer the aim of risk based monitoring is to focus on those trials or processes that are more likely to have issue with patient safety data quality and often uh, it clearly highlights in real time analytics okay so that it helps the investigator to quickly and more effectively mitigate the risk and address the error before we compromise the trial quality okay so all the data entry is done today in the edcs so all the data is with data management whenever a cra conducts monitoring visit they have clear data which clearly tells them that is there any risk with the quality of data or are there any uh, errors are there any issues with real time data analytics and it can in real time tell you that there is a certain issue with this particular site and by detecting that issue we can quickly implement the mitigating uh, efforts we can mitigate the risk implement uh, corrections and address the errors and in this way we can on a real time basis protect the trial and prevent from compromising the trial quality so risk based monitoring is a revolutionary approach to the traditional monitoring now let us understand what is the industry guidance when it comes to risk based monitoring so the us fda has provided guidance on risk based monitoring you can refer uh, the below given uh, paper which is uh, dated april 2023 where they have clearly answered what a risk based monitoring approach is to the monitoring of clinical trial and every question and answer for the industry have been given by the fda so let us understand three main highlights uh, or guidance given by the us fda for risk based monitoring so first uh, is the identification so by using risk based monitoring the identification of the uh, critical data and processes becomes more easy and it can accurately help us monitor the quality of the clinical trial and ensure the safety okay and it will clearly help the sponsor to know the elements which are more important or which should be given a particular focus area and 
that can include all the activity right from the consenting to eligibility to screening to tracking of the adverse event and the serious adverse event okay so identification of the errors identification of the risk has become enhanced when we use the rvm next thing is risk assessment now risk assessment process involves determining the specific source of the risk and the effect that it particular risk has on the study error and what are those risks and how do we mitigate them so risk assessment has also uh, been bolstered by using risk based monitoring so that it can clearly define that which particular area which particular site which particular subject has increased risk and it will immediately help us in understanding that particular risk so that risk assessment becomes more easier next thing is monitoring plan so how does the traditional monitoring plan would accommodate this risk based monitoring approach so according to the fda's guidance the uh, monitoring plan okay should describe the monitoring methods responsibilities and requirement for the clinical trial so risk based monitoring can be integrated and it can be integrated by describing the methods that we are going to use for this monitoring for example remote monitoring teleconferencing okay and who is going to be responsible for conducting monitoring and how we are going to do that so the plan or the monitoring plan should be uh, able to response uh, should be able to clearly define how we are going to communicate the risk and what are going to be the monitoring procedures so that everyone involved in the clinical trial can conduct monitoring as usual okay so this is the fda guidance on risk based monitoring now let us understand the advantages of risk based monitoring so the first advantage of risk based monitoring is definitely lower errors okay so when it comes to uh, manual uh, monitoring the manual efforts so it has a limited scope and it is prone to error because a person can easily miss data because he is responsible for uh, viewing multiple subject data okay so uh, so reduction in error can be expected by implementation of rbm and this particular rbm uses a more automated reviews and determining the need of manual intervention okay so that the system performs the primary risk assessment and it clearly highlights which particular area you need to focus on so that more errors are uncovered and we can minimize and mitigate those particular errors the second thing is obviously lower cost okay so with centralized monitoring systems uh, using risk based monitoring the activities like on site audits can be limited uh, to the site and the problem which are occurring at the site can be dramatically reduced because there is there is a significant cost when it comes to traveling and monitoring to the site but if we can achieve the same thing remotely then it is going to be one of the most cost effective methods third is uh, better analysis so with all the data analytics uh, flowing into the central uh, dashboard which is the risk dashboard so it can give you a statistical as well as a graphical representation of what exactly is happening at the site which particular area we need to focus where are the risk and it will clearly identify uh, identify the outliers and unusual data patterns so that it will be easier uh, for us to analyze the data and predict any risk next thing would be the comparison okay so the centralized uh, monitoring also allows you to uh, compare between uh, the data of multiple sites so usually whenever you go on a particular site you are only limited to the data of that particular site but by using a centralized monitoring approach you can compare the data of one site to another and understand the intricacies of the data the error uh, prediction and how this particular error are posing a particular risk and you can easily identify a uh, any fraudulent uh, data or any uh, mislabeled data or you can locate that uh, faulty issue or miscalibrated equipment even very easily so comparison becomes very easier by using the risk based monitoring approach and finally the timely result okay so when it comes to timely result it is a real time basis so if you if you are using risk based monitoring systems so there is a real time updating uh, dashboard which makes you easy to identify and resolve issue while the trial is ongoing okay so in the real time basis also you can implement any mitigation uh, efforts required in the clinical trial okay so as we move forward the technological imprint on our monitoring is going to be larger i understand that when it comes to traditional monitoring system it will uh, pose a greater challenge especially uh, 
uh, in countries which are not uh, used to the online method or which do not use the electronic medical record systems but this is uh, the way the world is moving forward and we are going to have to adapt the risk based monitoring system or centralized monitoring system so there are pros and cons of the system and definitely as uh, the governments the usfd are bringing guidelines it clearly highlights that uh, the future of monitoring would be the risk based monitoring and centralized monitoring so we have to be uh, prepared uh, to understand what exactly is risk based monitoring how it differs from traditional monitoring and what impact is has uh, in detection of the errors and mitigation of the risk So thank you for watching this video please make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you have benefited from understanding risk based monitoring and make sure uh, that you stay tuned to get uh, additional benefit from this channel thank you